Hey guys, it's me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. <clears throat> Excuse me, somebody's throat chakras off. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you're rocking. We got my sixth. Me and I have my back because I have yours. Let's pull from the uh, Destined Love Oracle to see where you are. There's frequency here. And somebody spying on you. It seems like somebody might be changing the frequency in regards to what they're doing. You ha are learning from um, certain situations. And that's the reason why the sun flowers here. The sun, it can represent the, the sun. But your frequency is changing. You're happy. You're just basking in the sun. And when it comes to somebody spying on you, they don't like to see you happy. I'm not going to say, well... They, it's not that they don't like to see you happy. They like for you to be a fool to them. And, yeah, regular, neat, controllable. You're normally uh, a go-with-the-flow type person. And here it comes. It's like you have pulled your energy back. It says lost, discarded, and reduced hourglass. You have pulled your energy back, and you're not the gift to them anymore. You're not there at their beck and call anymore. And, you know, the foolish uh, person who never really wanted to consider changing their frequency is now hesitating in regards to what it is so you're in a daze a good daze because if you look at the situation with the frequency um you know their eyes are closed they're looking up they're not looking down they're not worried at one point yeah you're protecting your energy you were living consciously in regards to dealing with the obstructions <laughs> in your life and now only time will tell where you are you're at a pivoting point in your life and when it comes to you reducing your energy or pulling your energy back, it says protection. The need for energetic, emotional, and physical boundaries is necessary for you at this time. And it says live consciously. Consciously. I can't say that. It says make decisions in life that are not by happenstance, but rather by conscious uh, choices for the betterment of your life and for others. At some point, you didn't want to do it for the betterment of your life because you were so busy protecting everybody else's uh energies or their downfalls or the things that they did and made you feel a certain way and that's the reason why you're unsure now you're protecting your energy and you know it's a need something that you needed to do look that card stay down there yeah change you need it needed it was it was changed that was needed and so with change being needed you had to be the one to be able to yeah stop going with the flow and go with your own flow that's how i see that um i'll pull one more card from this deck but yeah you had to be the change and become the rebel the person that you know um um the morality uh yes yeah traveling moving forward uh the morality is like that it could be this there's boxes here and it can you can you know keep your head your hands tied together or you can move forward um, and be the rebel that you've always been but you know now it's a different way your projection of how you see things are different and so you're moving forward which is why the traveling card is there as soon as I come sit down somebody wants to text me but um yeah which is why the traveling card is there this card stayed down there knight of wands yeah so the knight of wands in the reverse though my drake energy is normally in the upright but the you are the rebel daredevil volatile arrogant unpredictable hold to grudge hyperactive uh hasty and jealous well you might not be jealous you might just be uh, at this point to where you see the beauty in yourself the divine empress is here instead of you nurturing and mothering a situation you're looking at yourself and saying man i'm licking my wounds seven of wands energy because it's in the reverse you had avoided conflict for so long and you were backing down and not make you know and just trying to make amends and keep the peace and, and you know it's like okay because i live to fight another day um even if even though it was a lost cause now your high priestess energy and the upright trusting your intuition and you know it's like inner knowing and divine it says diving deep and higher self and intuition and calm you're calm right now and at one point again you were in a situation to where you were just um you know like you, you kind of lost your confidence you know you kind of lost your confidence and now because of the obstruction and now time is here somebody's spying on you bottom of the deck is the knight of coins energy a lack of direction these people are spying on you because at one point you had a lack of direction you you felt stuck you know you were like um 
you know, not finishing things. It was unstable situation. You were very impatient, waiting for somebody to change their frequency. And, and what you did is had to change your frequency. And it was because you had a lack of faith, star in the reverse. You had a lack of faith within yourself in the way that you projected yourself, the way that you saw yourself. You saw everybody else as a gift to you, and you are a gift to them. And so you change the rate of how you do things. Um, you know, you change you changed the way you do things. Instead of going with the flow, you had to be a little bit more, more, more stern and also be that rebel that you have always set out to be. And so with that being said, you had to just get out of this situation of just going round and round and around and letting things just happen and being okay with it and start to protect yourself and live consciously and not you know, doubt yourself and doubt the positions that you put yourself in, you know, in the situations or the people that you are around. Okay, so I'm going to pull from the power of surrender card, um, the power of surrender cards in order for me to be able to see what it is that you had to surrender from. Sorry, my TV was up loud. But yeah, I'm going to pull from that in order to see what it is that, you know, you are surrendering or what you had to surrender from or what you needed help with, you know, just surrendering, period, you know. And, yeah, surrender to the beauty of the na of the natural world, bottom of the deck. Surrender your desire to control people. So, again, you know, you being in a daze and you trying to protect everything and the way everybody sees things, you going with the flow. And instead of you living consciously within yourself, you um, kind of put yourself on the back burner when it came to, you know, you just like, um, licking your wounds and just going with the flow until you started to look at things in a different light and realize that, you know, your lack of direction or the lack of others' directions is causing you to have to move forward. And, um, you know, now you're living uh, like Drake. You only live once. Be bold, be fearless, do what you love. But it had to take that change in order for you to see the beauty in yourself. It says surrender to the beauty of the na uh, natural world, which is you actually seeing the beauty within yourself that's why high priest is trusting your intuition and empress comes out it says surrender your desire to control people being over controlling can sabotage relationships to more effectively achieve your goals back up back off regroup and give the situation some breathing room that's the reason why people are watching you because you backed off you're not in a situation and controllable is here i didn't even see that controllable is here you're not trying to control any obstructions that come on your path you're moving forward with the travel card and you're understanding what the lack of direction of the past has caused you and so your your desire not necessarily that you're like i'm trying to control this it's like you just want to go with the flow and be happy and want people to be happy with you and not not that um you're um what is it a fool you know sometimes like that respectfully not that you're just going with anything and allowing things to just happen anymore so it says take a relaxing break and spend time in nature replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there so that is what you're doing you're looking at things the small simple things you're seeing the the flowers, the smell in the air, the fresh air, you're doing that on your own terms. Normally, you'll be like, hey, everybody, come meet me at the park, and you're going to sit at the park by yourself, whether it be with the dog. Maybe you're talking to somebody's dog. Maybe you're not, you know, but the thing is is that you're not inviting the outside energies into your uh, point of reflection or, or seeing things from a different perspective. So that's kind of how I see that. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this like that. I didn't, and I realized in my last reading, I didn't pull from my crystal deck. Look at my hand. I hit it. I didn't pull from the crystal deck or the four agreements, but I believe that these readings were really good. So I won't do it this time either. Um, if you guys want to know what the um, chakras and also my interpretation of the four agreements are, I'll put the links up above. But you guys do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. Let's let this old energy go. And now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.